time for social media. Online communities, 50% tourism output to civilizations you have a trade route to. That's pretty handy. I'm also keeping an eye on merchants. There are a couple of modern era merchants that I'm very curious in. Specifically, Mary Catherine Goddard for one level of diplomatic visibility and Sarah Breedlove for 25% tourism rate to other civilizations I have a trade route to. Big tourism bonuses if I can get that merchant. Ah, yes. As I look at the flooded remains of my capital on a new day of filming. There's a couple of things I've been thinking about and in terms of the late game and I'd say that by turn 225 to turn 300 that sort of time frame. My strategy what am I going to do to win? We've built up to 850 tourism but if we look at the moment we are currently gaining pretty much exactly five forest, forests? Five forests? <laughs> five tourists per turn. Unfortunately the target is also accelerating at five to six per turn so this is still just even. As long as the chem keep getting this outrageous amount of culture, the tourism is going to be quite tricky. However, there's something I have noticed. Look at the gulf. Between Russia and the Kemens, that is a huge drop of about 137. If they were to be removed from the game, aka, oh look, they're the only people that have denounced me, the entire world is allied otherwise, we could destroy them, that would lower the tourist goal, I should say, the amount we've got to get to by a significant amount. Obviously, we've spoken about the need to get biosphere, and that's absolutely what I'm still going to try and do, especially if I can build this wall before, before the world floods again, which is actually going to be pretty tricky, but we'll give it a good go. We'll give it a good go. The biosphere will help and we've got a lot of improvements that will help with that, but I need to double this up. I probably need to get a few aerodromes. I need to utilize the fact that we've got eight aluminium per turn. We need to make sure we have aircraft carriers. We need to find the uranium. I need to make sure whether I know whether a jet bomber rush or a giant death robot rush is more likely to be successful successful in this endeavor. So it's doubling up really. Biosphere will massively increase the tourism we're getting, but we also want to reduce the goal we need to get to. Someone else I remembered though, scientist. This is not a scientist we normally go to, but Mary Leakey, artifacts in all of my cities generate 300% of their normal tourism. We are some way off getting her, but if we can, that would be amazing. We've spoken as well about getting Sarah Breedlove. We've obviously also got Melita. Between these two, that's 50% extra tourism and we're just about to pick up the online communities card which will increase tourism as well. There are lots of things we can do here to make sure that this works. I'm just very conveniently putting an improvement down so that my national park goes where I want it to but we need to play this cleverly. We need to double edge this result as best we can. I'm gonna switch briefly to campus projects because Einstein would be amazing. Yeah getting Einstein would be absolutely brilliant. Oh that's bad. Okay the second level of flooding has arrived a little bit sooner than forecast and that's mainly because of the obscene amounts of coal everybody's putting into the atmosphere. Right we need to get working on this a little quicker than I previously was. So Rocky Bay is able to absolutely pump out military engineers but we need to actually make sure, what's the phrase, my own mask is on before I put other people's on. Let's get this city sorted and then we just need to go one by one around making sure all my walls are up. Once they're up, they're up. So these three need to be done. There's one up there, there's one there and then these little cities down to the south, I mean, this doesn't matter as much. Oh, I miss the letter. When you don't have the letter in a game, you really notice it. You really want to pray them in. Ah, uh, what can you do? Brandar Brunei gives me a little bit more gold for shipyards. That's nice. And we're still excavating artifacts. Oh, look at that. London Falls. Nubia has taken over London just as England have had their religion change to Buddhism. Oh, the game is doing something. Is Nubia genuinely going for a domination victory here? I would love to see that. Who are they at war with apart from England? Nobody at the moment, but they were to turn around and go for Germany. I think they'd have a lot of luck. Ooh, and then, okay, Kemmer has just raised the city they just took from Russia. Whoa, there's war going on today. There's genuine war. I'm loving this. Oh, let's, let's play this game late. See what happens, eh? Let's see what happens. I think one more charge of that flood barrier will be up. Excellent. Good thing is all this combat is actually generating new artifacts for me. This is great. Oh, I think it's because Nubia are using bombers. An actual air force being used here. This is lovely. I'm thinking this alliance I have with Nubia, this is very important that I keep it. <laughs> I very much would like to keep this alliance up and running, else we might have a problem. Oh, that volcano has now gone off twice in a row. I was just about to send somebody over to fix it. I'm glad they've waited. Now, social media. This gives me a few more options. I'm going to get rid of Economic Union. I love that card. It's brilliant but online communities
communities is really handy. Public works, again, I really like it, but satellite broadcasts is really needed. And collective activism, I don't have many city states this game. So for once, this card, 127 culture, is not the be all and end all. I'd rather keep Visselbanken and Republican legacy for a little bit. But there is satellites. I'm going to find the sources of uranium. Let's see how quickly we can get those into my empire. There we go. The walls are finished around Rocky Bay. That's brilliant. And to fix that campus as quick as I can. Get that up and running. Get that fixed. And then we'll get the military engineers back up and running. The research project is finished. That means I can now buy Einstein. He will give me four science on research labs. That'll help me to keep the tech lead. This is the secret thing. Everybody else is fighting. But I'm seven techs ahead of Nubia. And even more ahead of Kevin. So if I can find uranium and go for giant death robots. I'm going to have a bit of luck here. A, a lot of luck. Lighthouses are becoming increasingly important by the way. The world is flooded. I might as well just assume it's going to be permanently flooded and put a lighthouse up. That's That works for me. Social media was very handy, but I need environmentalism for a little bit more tourism. Now, let's see how this has changed the playing field. See, a lot more tourism, a lot more tourism now, but in three turns, I kid you not, the Kemens are now up to about 150 more culture per turn than they were. They are boosting through this late game. We need to keep an eye on them. This huge negative that Nubia's got going, this is some sort of overflow. Don't worry about it. I, I don't know why this is showing so negative, but they're not having any issues because of it. It's purely graphical. I'm pretty sure it's purely graphical. We've got about 9,000 tourism coming in per turn when you add it all up. About eight, eight and a half tourists per turn. So we're starting to catch up, but you can see just how much of a problem this is. We've really got to peg them back. Why have you suddenly gained so much more culture? Oh, you're starting to get more great works now. Okay, we now have to start buying these for a lot of money, but we've got no space in our empire. That's a problem. We are already up to our noses in fun. <laughs> this is going to be a tricky game. I'm liking this. Good thing is my resources like oil, uh, I mean, that's still selling for a huge amount of money. And I'm hoping the world will, yeah, look at this. There's a coal issue as well in the world. So I'm probably gaining about a thousand gold per turn on top of my thousand gold per turn selling my strategics. The world has a carbon problem. And I'll be honest, I am making it worse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not helping. Research labs now boosted. Wasn't a huge boost, but it's it's a little bit. Oh yeah, the bombers are wiping Bristol off the face of the earth. England, you're gonna have to keep settling up to the frozen north, otherwise you're gonna be removed from the game and I'm gonna lose all my tourists with you. And that's not a good thing. Might have to start thinking about liberating England back into the game. This is such a strange game. Combined arms I'm going to get in a second because I am building up armies of units that I have converted. Look at these. These are all I, I use in, in sort of inverted commas three units that my apostles gained me which is lovely there's another army and we'll put that musket army together next turn oh this is so expensive but anything to bring the culture down i've got to do it maybe I sh should i send spies over and steal the works i've got nowhere to put them the spies wouldn't work hmm answer my own question there <laughs> didn't take very long so fun little trick this flood barrier was taking 61 turns so what i did is i just this city it's finished its flood barrier so i stole all of these tiles from it and some of these are floodable tiles and that actually brought the cost down in this city because it's all worked out by how many tiles need to be protected so the less you've got in a city the easier it is to protect just a fun little fun little thing for you there oh that's why their culture has just boosted so much just another aid request i've won that that is synthetic technocracy technocracy they have got all the way down to this one that means they've got power in all the cities and minus 10 percent tourism that's really good we were thinking about going by a sphere anyway so knowing that actually we're not going to get a penalty for having a you know this different government to them that that's really handy keep an eye on that i could end up working very nicely for us later into the game now it's a very late game admiral that's awesome there's matthew perry popping up as an admiral that that was that was one of those things wasn't it <laughs> a few series ago i made a joke about matthew perry and then literally between me filming it and the video going live he, he passed away and i was sort of left thinking oh no no, that sounds really bad and it wasn't deliberate. <laughs> Oh dear. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure everyone knew I was, uh, it, it wasn't deliberate, but it's one of those things, isn't it? Now, where is the uranium? I've only got one source of it at the moment. Oh, and it's down there. And I've got my builder 
right there. Is that literally all I've got? I think I need more. I need more than that. Let's hope it's just on islands I haven't settled, such as over there. Yes, it is on islands I haven't settled. There's only six sources of it on the map, actually. That's hilarious. There is some for me to go and conquer and some for me to go and settle. Okay, it's a bit expensive. Let's go and send a settler out immediately and go immediately settle it. Oh, Bristol's gone. Bristol was raised to the floor. Bye-bye. Well, well, we'll build a national park in its honor. How about that? All right, the biosphere plan is now starting to take place. Planted a wood. I can put an imbanza down on that tile. Start saving up a little bit of gold now to then instantly ra you know, raise, to, to build, the opposite of raising, to build biosphere. Okay, Turing is next up as a scientist. Turing's really cool, but I've already got all of the boosts that Turing will give. However, once Turing is gone, we'll go to atomic era and that's when we have a chance of getting the scientists that we really want for tourism. So we'll keep an eye out. Rushering is considering a war on Nubia. You don't say. Why do you sort out the war at home first and then, then plan? Let's unlock nuclear fission, please. Environmentalism, two solar farms needed. I tell you what, Republican legacy is fun, but it's not giving me tourism. Let's put back now the builder card. Everyone's favorite builder card. And we need to start now putting down improvements that give me eco power. That's the priority. Everything else, you're getting removed, chopped or disintegrated in some way. Yep, that is the Ursa way. <laughs> Disintegration. And if you're, would, you know, the city was doing something useful it is no longer you're going to be making builders apart from rocky bay you are genuinely being useful by trying to flood a city with as many military engineers as we're going to need to finish the wall I, you'll notice i'm not actually using the military engineers up until the point where we're ready to do it in in one go because as the flooding gets worse the cost gets more and more and more and effectively makes the charges i use pointless so um, that's why i'm waiting it's all good fun you know it, it, we don't need to worry about the fact the world is flooding Ugh. It's not, it's not worrying or depressing at all. Another themed archaeological museum though. That's good to see. Job plan. Some more music. You love to see it. I'm, I've got no space for the music, but one day, one day maybe I will. Actually, there are a couple of places I can buy. Venture politics is boosted because I have uranium. Lovely, lovely stuff. Oh, Cardiff got stolen. I didn't notice. Uh, it's going to be a huge amount of carbon I'm putting into the atmosphere this turn. Cardiff, by the way, is going to be very important to hold because Cardiff power is also tripled by biosphere and turned into tourism so Cardiff itself is going to be generating a lot of tourism per turn as long as my cities have harbors which most of them do to be honest with you there you go look at this Cardiff's back you need to stay on side there's another solar farm environmentalism boosted that'll be a welcome source of tourism and as you can see look eco power is now being generated environmentalism I'm up to 1500 tourism now nice feels like a big old jump oh yeah look at this all the bonuses now jumping in on this about 14 and a half thousand tourism so we're getting about 12 to 13 tourists we are now starting to catch up but it's it's like 12 against 9 900 culture per turn is too much it's far too much look at all these great works coming in now that's these, these need to be stopped these need to be politely politely node okay globalization time and then we need to think about whether we go to a better government or not i i'm torn on the issue it could go either way and here is uranium city it's the only reason for it it's otherwise a totally pointless city actually no saying that we could get a lot of national parks here a lot of national parks let's try and do that okay we'll make this city useful and and, and eco power bit of everything i'm just thinking with all this oil in the middle shall i go settle it i think i you know i think i will go and settle it this is not a bad idea liverpool just could you throw a settler out for me yeah i'm gonna, just gonna go nab all the oil thank you especially because manchester looks like it's on its way out as well oh poor or England being just rinsed from the map. They're still buying all of my resources though. I guess because they've got no land, there's nothing to claim. Oil is still selling for a premium. Hey, yeah, no, none of the AI knows what uranium is. I guess that's a good thing as well. And I'm gonna keep my Diplo favor just for a little bit. How are we actually doing on Diplo victory? I'm up to 10 points. A couple of aid requests have come in that have really helped me. I don't really wanna go for Diplo today. I could pivot and put down Statue of Liberty. I think is still available, yeah. So it is possible, but I'm. But if, if you were wondering why I'm not, it, it's mainly because I just fancy doing something a little bit different. Okay, Impanza is done. Here is the biosphere, and because we've got enough gold, we should just be able to rush it through immediately. Okay, 200% power for all improvements that give power. This is badly worded. This also increases anything that gives power, apart from using resources like coal, oil, and uranium. So Cardiff, that is tripled, as is the power 
you get from every city for having the tier 4 government, so just keep those in mind. I was on 1,588 tourism. I'm expecting that to increase rather a lot. There you go, look. I should only be getting 4 power from resources from Cardiff, but I'm actually getting a lot more than that. 1,900. So at the moment, Biosphere gained me about 350 to 400 tourism. And that is, of course, all multiplied. This really helps. Uh, Preslav got taken again. Please, please stop it. Oh, it's Germany this time. You, like, stop taking my city stays. Just rude. It's just rude. Every single improvement I put down now, I think, is worth about 9 tourism. Oh, no, green sources of power. 24 tourism. Really? Is that much? 12 and then 25. I don't know how much it's giving me. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Just, just assume that it's a lot. More flooding. This isn't good. There's a lot of permanent flooding going on now. Oh, what was that that just got broken? That's an un under construction theatre square. That Kelly, can we fix that? Something we can fix? Actually, you know what? We've just about finished that wall now. Good. Getting there. We're getting there. It's, this is proving tricky, but we are getting there. Okay. This is uh, my new little desert city. Thank you for clearing the space for me. That's very kind. I will spam out improvements. Already up to 2,000 tourism. Okay. Wait. This is where we start to really burn through stuff. This is my favorite part of any game. It's just going around making endless improvements for green power. It's really satisfying. Late game builder spam, improvement spam. This is what I really like about the culture game. Especially when you compare the culture game and Civ 6 compared to Civ 5. There's so many more improvements, so many more things you can do. I mean, sure, if you play lots of games after one after another, maybe it'll get a little repetitive, but I like the variation. There's a lot of variation here. My carbon output has now pretty much frozen, which is good. I would like to start doing carbon recapture at some point because I think the world needs it. Manchester gonna fall? Looks like Manchester may fall at some point. That's definitely a military emergency going through. That's a lot of land down to the south that's been flooded. Oh, let's keep an eye out for that. The military emergency passed and oh, Germany's gone in. That's exciting. The wall. Oh, finally finished. Get that theater square up and running quickly. We need as many as we can get. All of the extra tourism. Look at this all. It's all glorious. More national parks. I tell you what, actually the happiness from the national parks itself. That is really big business for me. I haven't quite got all of my cities too ecstatic. We've just struggled. I've had just too many this game, but I mean, it, it, it's it's not a problem. <laughs> We're doing okay. And it's next era. It's the atomic era I'm looking forward to because I believe that's the first era where we can actually pick a golden age that gives us tourism. Wish you were here. I think it's that one, isn't it? It's tourism for wonders and for national parks. Globalization. I really wish that I had any capacity whatsoever to put the car into my government, but I don't because I've totally run out of space. Lots of boosts. Oh, World's Fair. I won the World's Fair. Really? Huh. Well, okay. I'll take it. Didn't think I'd win that. Oh, look at that. The Kemens are actually just randomly jumping here, getting large amounts of tourism every now and then. Don't look. Don't look and it's okay. Here we go. Right. Beatrix Potter is fine, as is Marianne. Stamford Raffles, though. This lets me absorb a city-state into my empire, which actually may be really handy, but it's who appears on after. Who's going to pit after? John Rockefeller. We don't need John Rockefeller. We'll keep an eye out. We'll keep an eye out. It's not him. It's Sarah Breedlove. That's who we're after. Does it make sense to take a 20% penalty on tourism to go for the government that gives me power in every city? I think I'm going to gain more tourism from that than I will lose, but we can work it out. I have 20 cities exactly. That means synthetic technocracy will give me 60 power, which is tripled to 180 and then boosted further to 270. Then I'll lose 10% tourism, which is about 200. Oh, it's so close to being effective, but I will get more cards. I'm going to unlock it. I'm going to unlock it and see how I feel in a second. I don't know. I don't know whether it's worth it. I've seized another great source of music. Excellent. Just again, it's just a little more tourism to me, a little less culture for them. Shall I absorb Preslav? It's not a bad city, you know, and it doesn't really give me any abilities that I'm going to miss. So yeah, I'm going to just get two more envoys take over Preslav and then swallow it. No one will mind, maybe. A lot of people will probably mind, but but no one will mind. The World Congress. I believe that Germany is going to win the points again and I'm not going to try and stop it, so we'll vote for that. I think I can also say that, what was it last time? Gold. Gold went through and I do have a lot of gold. And we also have a lot of, mm, uh, what is it? Industrial city-states. So we'll vote on all of this stuff and I'm going to just try and force these through. Because A, I don't think that AI is going to vote heavily on them, and B, if I win them, yes, I get the points, but that's not really important. It's mainly the 
AI doesn't get the points. Sydney Opera House. This has, I believe, three slots for great works of music, which is wonderful. I really need these slots. These are fantastic for me. And it's a really cool looking wonder as well. I put it on this tiny island. All the places to go. I didn't think that was where it would be built, but never mind. Okay, yeah, cool. We walked away with three points. I'm on 13. Everyone else is on 10 or less. We've got it under control. Oh, Preslav has just had a big old flood. This could officially be the worst time to take over Preslav, but I think I haven't got a choice. What is interesting and exciting is that there are battleship fleets and armadas now parked outside of my city. A lot of these units. Are they going to attack me? Are the chemists going to attack me? You'd be bold to, friend. You'd be very, very bold to. Just to keep me safe, I'm going to upgrade my musketman army to a mechanized infantry army. That will give my cities pretty much the max combat power. So if I am attacked, they're going to be much more resistant now. All of my city states are being being stolen but that's okay because Preslav is now mine and let's just quickly gobble it up I think this is a good move I very rarely use that merchant now everything may be burning but there's a lot of space and a trade route and oh yeah some really really good theater squares that I can pop down in this city so that's lovely guidance systems okay that means we've got robotics next up and giant death robots will help I have hit that point now where I think if I were to knock the Kemens out of the game we would win the tourism victory almost instantaneously They've just hit a thousand culture per turn. Oh, they are really pushing me here. But my tourism is still growing and growing and growing. Let's see if it makes sense to do this. Keep an eye on the Russia figure. I think this is probably the best one to have a look at. 4,600 per turn. Let's convert and see what that does. So we take a tourism penalty, but we take more biosphere tourism. Heritage, online community, satellite broadcasts, all of that still remains. We can now put Republican legacy back in. I'll pop liberalism in as well. E-commerce public transport and monarchic legacy and we'll let that work itself out and it's gone from 4,600 to 4,500 it's almost exactly the same that just shows you how strong biosphere is we've effectively upgraded our government got a load of power for the rest of the game and we actually gained tourism with the Kemens because we now share their government which is really cool my goodness he may have done it he may have pulled off the impossible Cardiff just got taken from me again oh luck luckily we timed that well well, look at that near future governance. Give me these city states back, please. One, two, one. Excellent. Preslav was defeated. I, I like the fact that it says defeated. It wasn't defeated. It was absorbed peacefully. Global warming mitigation. Oh, that'll help. That'll help my diplo favor just a little bit. And hopefully we can stop the world from flooding all the way. That's unlikely, actually, to be fair. Victor now has embrasure. Now, what I've done is I've moved Victor over as close to the Kemens as I can. And I've put a seaport in this city. City, which means I can now buy units with a promotion immediately. So missile cruiser armadas. That would be probably the one that I'd focus on first. I'll keep an eye on that one. Ryzantium is a good place to show off just the crazy combination of what's going on here. Look at this. We've got a couple of wind farms in various places. And obviously we've got our government and Cardiff. But when you all add that together, 45 power from renewable sources. There's a lot of power in my cities. I I'm in, <laughs> don't really know what to do with it all. Capital. Capitalism. Public transport's fun, but I'm going to put laissez-faire in to get a lot more merchant and admiral points. I'm going to do the same with science foundations as well. I like great people points at the end of the game. So Turing is almost there. Rockefeller is almost there as well. Just saving myself. I'm just saving various bits and pieces around my economy. Oh, and we're finishing flood barriers for the first time. This is great. In fact, there is a theatre square finished. That's the first we finished in a long time. Amphitheatre done. I'm going to pick up another archaeological museum and broadcast center and now we're gonna go shopping and see what we can work out Eight thousand gold that's so expensive but look at all the stuff they'll let me buy from them it's worth it i mean that's only about five turns worth of gold sure they'll probably go mad with that level of gold in their empire but we won't worry about that for now oh yeah we can do some theming here we can do some theming here there you go look at that it's awesome we've probably pulled their culture down by about 30 per turn and we've given ourselves another bite to eat robotics let's unlock nuclear fusion now whilst i save up a little bit of more gold for my giant death robots so there's Turing who will pop up next Margaret Mead okay unfortunately not who we wanted waiting for Mary Leakey 
So I'm now gaining 20 tourists every turn, and I'm stealing four of them from the Kemens, which means they're only getting six away. So I'm catching up by 16 per turn. I should be caught up within 20 turns, I hope. But they keep spiking their culture. Every now and then, they'll just like jump above a thousand again, and you think, oh no. 25 population city for the first time. That's nice. Oh, we're gonna have to take a bit of a gamble here. The modern era ends in one turn, and we haven't had Sarah Breed love up. I'm gonna have to buy John quickly. There she is. Oh, the gamble paid off. Right, 8,600 gold. I'm still selling everything I have, and I'm pretty sure we should be able to get enough gold hit. Yeah, oil still is very expensive on the market. Everyone's addicted. That's fine. <laughs> Look at that, already up to 5,200. Yep. 25% tourism rate with everyone is really handy. I mean, 25% of 2,600. What does that work out? About 600? Oh, hello. Is that war? It is war, you know. Oh, okay. Well, all right then. I like this. This is fun. Who did you declare on? They declared on Russia, and of course now they're probably at war with most people. I'm going to go through everybody and see if we can pull everyone in, or we could get Nubia in. Germany doesn't want any part of this. That's okay. We don't mind that. Now, do you see this? My city still has three base strength on the strike. That is hilarious. Oh, bless it. Um, I'm going to have to spend a little bit of my gold here. I'm saving up, obviously, for this merchant, but I need a better city strength, and I believe a missile cruiser armada with 107 strength is the most you can get a city up to so i'll buy one of those quickly and now all of my city strikes have a lot of strength in them let's test that theory out yeah look at that bam wish you were here cities with governors receive 50 percent tourism from world wonders full stop people forget that full stop 100 percent tourism to all national parks you don't need a governor in a city for the national park tourism that's a very strong embarked unit but my city is stronger oh yeah you weren't expecting that way you, you were not expecting that. Also, one thing we may notice is that all of my trade routes are about to get pillaged. Yeah, they're no longer immune. This was a clever, clever timing move here. My tourism has gone down by about a tourist per two tourists per turn, but it's, it's still going up with everyone else, so I don't think this will be a problem. Yeah, that's right. Just keep scattering your units all around my land. Let me just hit them with city strikes as much as I can. Predictive systems, offshore wind farms. All right, game is over when you hit that tech. Look how much coast I've got. <laughs> <laughs> These are all fantastic. It, it's just, you're not doing anything with that tile anyway, so you might as well put the wind farm down. I think it's time for the Manhattan Project, don't you? Oh, look how messy the war is going to be down here. So many tanks, so many horses. I think your horses are going to lose out to these tanks. I just have that feeling. Oh, it's actually pretty even. You forget how strong Cossacks are in your own land. Very strong indeed, and all the nuclear submarines everywhere. No one's discovered uranium yet, which means hopefully no nukes are going to be flying off, but the late game AI with this Roman Holiday mod does tend to fire quite a few nukes. So we might see that. Depends on how late the game gets. I thought this would get closer to turn to uh, about 300. But yeah, our, our tourism has definitely accelerated beyond a point that we can control. The city can just one-shot a battleship. Yes. Oh, Russia and Germany, both nuke happy. Oh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> this could be quite inter could be quite interesting. Sarah Breedlove, we've got her on side, and it's Helena Rubinstein that comes up next. That's fine. Melita is possible, but it is not the next one up, so we'll just keep an eye on this stuff. Global warming mitigation. Again, so conveniently timed because Cardiff was just stolen from me. Give it back. Now I can try and recapture some carbon from the environment if I wanted to. I think this world is pretty screwed now. We're not gonna worry too much about it. But look at these tourism yields now. Oh yeah, this is pretty good. Germany doesn't want to be friends. I think it's because I'm just about to win. Sometimes it happens. Well, hope, very much hope, that they renew the alliance with me or ask me for friendship. But I've got open borders with them in the meantime. There are quite a lot of boats here, actually. The President's Flotilla. That's a destroyer armada. Oh, big guns. Big guns. And uh, it's going straight to Cardiff. Don't worry about it. I'm sure it's fine. There you go. The friendship has been asked for. It's, it's just something about the AI wants to do it on their own terms. I, I would both respect that and find it very annoying. This national park has generated 15 tourists. Oh, this one? Oh, that's just a theater square. 24, 45? I guess that's from the relics and the power. 44 from St. Basil's Cathedral. Yeah, actually, I didn't think it would be my city center. I thought it might be St. Basil's that got the most. These things add up quicker than you think. Goshkov, and now it's Clancy. We've got Tchaikovsky. Getting into the later game stuff now. Our Stadia just got stolen from me as well. I've had Golden Gate and Stadio, both 
they've stolen in the last two turns. Who is building this stuff? It had better not be you. Uh, that's all I'm saying. If it, it is you, isn't it? Oh, where's Golden Gate? Where's Golden Gate? Here. Oh, they are. <laughs> Military emergency. You know what? I'm going to add that as a proposal. Yes. God, they're doing well. They've got actual bombers. 2,600 military strength. This is a big old war. Germany, you can't sit out of this for too long. There you go. Germany's navy. It's full of U-boats. That is very much a good sieve to have on side. Okay. Yes. Let's vote through this military emergency. Shared visibility, actually, across everyone would be quite helpful. Russia's in. Nubia's in. Russia, I didn't actually care about, but Nubia's fairly interested. Oh, my lord. What's happening here? Why? Okay. Uh, sometimes you don't really want to see what you see. There's a lot of anti-air guns around, though. Fighters. I do like this mod for the, you know, the late game side of things. Really does help. There is the advanced power cell. Now it means my giant death robots can get themselves siege cannons, which works really nicely. Just saving up enough gold to instantly buy one and then it's going straight over to try and solve that emergency. Do I want to give Nubia uranium? Yes, I absolutely do. <laughs> Sounds like a, both a terrible and a fantastic idea simultaneously. Right, Coal Canal. 3,000 gold for a giant death robot. That's cheaper than I remember. Oh, yeah, the World Congress. The World Congress, of course it is. Right, there's one. We can afford two, I think, with the uranium I've got, so we'll get two. Let's take these over. Do we take this island over and just, just gobble it up? Do I go straight for the emergency? Hmm. Let's go straight for the emergency. 1,373 culture per turn. That's so much culture per turn. Nubia's gone to the moon. Took my eye off that ball. Oh, interesting. Here come the death robots. Hey, we've got the victory though. In the end, we didn't need to go and try and attack. We got the culture, we got the tourism. It's all about multipliers and it's all about getting an obscenely high tourism score. That was a really fun game. AI put up a proper test there and it was really doing everything. Going to the moon, going for domination. There very interesting indeed. Only Marcus Aurelius? No problem for us. Buildings constructed. Look at that. We couldn't actually keep up with the AI on that. That shows you how much against everything we were. We didn't capture a single city, but we did found the most. Although who was that? Manatory. Manatory had such a cool game. Districts constructed. We tried, but couldn't keep up either. Number of combats. Very much uh, staying peaceful that game. Player culture. I mean, what was going on with this? I have no idea. Like you can see in the rest of the graph, we're all doing something at the top. That is so weird. Anyone else seen that glitch before? I had the most science for most of that. Faith wise, oh yeah, the Kemens were just amazing. Score, I actually had the most score towards the end. That makes me feel quite good. Total governors, religions founded. Oh, so Elizabeth. They did found their religion at the end of the game. Oh, units killed. A few Nubia just absolutely wrecking their units lost. How many cities did they capture in the end? Five. That's more than I've seen in a long time. Wonders constructed. I constructed the most but it was joint towards the end. Yeah, look at that. An allied friend reports that Russia is seeking a culture victory. That's difficult considering I just got one, but I love your ambition. I tell you what, to finish this game off with a bit of a bang, seeing as we've just finished Manhattan Project, I'm going to build a nuclear device and we're going to let my death robots make their way over. I think I'm just for the fun of it. I'm going to take over this uh, city from the AI. Got a little bit of a navy. It's a small navy, but it is a navy. Oh, skull cultures. Yummy. How many techs did we end up ahead, by the way? We're on 67 compared to 60, 56, 54. Yeah, our science lead was, was genuine. We had 14 diplomatic points and we still have the ability to build Statue of Liberty if we wanted it. That would put me on 18. Then there's Seasteads for 19. I've already picked up the global warming. As long as we got one point from the next session, we would have won a diplomatic victory as well. Oh, I think the tourism culture has started to go a little bit wrong. What's What's going on here? <laughs> no one knows. No one knows what any of this is. Minus 63,000. Oh dear. This game needs putting to bed urgently. Did anyone notice that because of a flooding, the little island that Cardiff was on now looks a little bit like a whale? Did you see that? Little open mouth, little tail. I think that's really cute. It's the Cardiff whale. You could say that Cardiff is near and in Wales. No, you couldn't say that. That would be ridiculous. Here's telecommunications. Don't mind me, but this tech is surprisingly useful. Giant death robots, they have arrived. <laughs> oh, England's being taken over from the other direction now. That's slightly tragic. Oi, get out of my bay. Yeah, I feel like we need to be a little bit further into the game. Look at that. Manhattan Project is being built by Nubia. I just keep winning too quickly. I'm... Ugh. 
I, sorry, I, I sound really humble when I say that. I'm just, I'm just so fast at finishing the game. Wonder if there's a mode above Deity Plus Plus. Can we get Deity Plus 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 Plus? Oh look, they've just, they just, literally just fixed the city. Hey, I need to liberate this city. I'll have you know. So let's not, let's not be fixing the walls. I need to give this city right back in the perfect condition from which it was taken from Russia. Um. It, it, it was always like this. I, I promise. <laughs> I promise it was always like this. Quickly, capture it before anyone notices. There we go, liberated. I don't like the fact that it liberates me back into the radiation, but I guess I probably should have worked that one out. Samarkand has just been taken. Manchester has just been raised. Yeah, it's all kicking off here. 177 gold and earthly delights. Ooh, what a peace deal. I've been literally offered earthly delights to <laughs> for peace. Need we ask more? I just finished this. I just finished fixing all of that. Oh, honestly. There we go. The military emergency. We are trying triumphant and with that we have a game where the ai is throwing around thousands of military strength that is almost on the cusp of nuclear technology i enjoy this mod this update on the mod seems to definitely be ticking things along nicely i think i'm going to come back to this sort of game but what i might do is i might start a little bit later into the game maybe an industrial era start or something along those lines i find the ai gets a little bit of a boost and you tend to have a little bit of a later game when you play like that the game really does push into the later stages it might see some fun things. I hope you enjoyed that little foray with giant death robots and nukes. Thank you so much for watching generally. If you do fancy supporting the channel, remember we do have a Patreon and a coffee if you want to drop by and give the channel support. That would be fantastic and little likes and little subscribes and all of the algorithm busting things. They're all wonderful. We were definitely tested. Look at his face. He looks tested. He looks like he needs to go and have a lie down and so do I. Thank you so much for watching everybody. See you on next video. Goodbye. And finally a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Portland, Clint Hennest, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Skeptical Bear, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Rom88, Radio Torre, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Boyzoro, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truant, Creston, RB Hedge, Mushkin Mandeltort, Esri Dax, Debel Time, Burial, I'm Daft, Gooberman, Dr. Bobby, Polar Waller Bear, Mixamatosis, NTG Golfman, Victor McPupster, Indigenous 68, Technology Poet, Teddy's Zaf, thank you everyone for your support. See you all in the next video. Goodbye.